Today, we're talking about Hai Yuna, who's known for her daring and eye-catching social media posts. Her latest Instagram update has fans talking more than ever. Let's dive into the details. Hai Yuna is no stranger to posting thirst traps on Instagram, and her latest photos have certainly turned heads. Known for embracing bold trends like underboob and sideboob, Hai Yuna recently shared a series of photos wearing a bikini top that left little to the imagination. The bikini top reads I, with the rest implied by the fit of the top. The photos showcased her cleavage, which sparked a flurry of comments from netizens. In the comments section, fans had mixed reactions. Some praised her bold look and confidence, while others speculated about the possibility of plastic surgery. Comments ranged from admiration for her daring style to curiosity about whether her appearance is natural. This isn't the first time Hai Yuna's photos have caused a stir, but this particular post seems to have struck a chord with her followers. What do you think about Hai Yuna's latest post? Is it just another bold fashion statement, or do you think there's more to it? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we're diving into the mysterious case of Kim Esso Ohayan's deleted Instagram photos. The beloved actor recently shared some stunning images, only to re Today, we're diving into the mysterious case of Kim Esso Ohayan's deleted Instagram photos. The beloved actor recently shared some stunning images, only to remove them shortly afterward, leaving fans puzzled. Let's take a closer look. Kim Esso Ohayan, known for his timeless looks and captivating presence, recently posted three photos on his Instagram. These photos quickly garnered attention from his followers, showcasing his charm and impeccable style. In the first image, we see Kim Esso Ohayan in a classic black and white shot, donning a black blazer over a dark shirt. His sophisticated and timeless aura shines through. The second photo is a cheerful, colorful shot of Kim Esso Ohayan smiling and waving at the camera. Fans loved seeing this more playful side of him. And the third image is an adorable selfie highlighting his defined features and cute expression. It was a hit among his followers. But just as quickly as they appeared, the photos vanished from his Instagram. A post on Thico, a popular online community, sparked discussions with fans expressing their confusion and disappointment over the sudden removal. Comments ranged from admiration for his looks to curiosity about the reason behind the deletion. Speculations abound. Some fans believe he might have deleted the photos to maintain a certain aesthetic on his feed, while others wonder if there might be another reason entirely. Regardless, fans are grateful that the images were saved and shared before they disappeared. What do you think about Kim Esso Ohayan's decision to delete the photos? Do you think there's more to the story, or was it simply an aesthetic choice? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we have some sizzling news that has taken the internet by storm. Are Astro's Cha yoon and Blackpink's RS dating? Well, some netizens seem to think so. Let's dive into the details of this viral story. Recently, a netizens compiled proof of a potential relationship between Blackpink's ROS and Astro's Cha Yunru has gained massive traction online. The pairing, affectionately known as Yunro's, has been a topic of speculation among fans for quite some time. Let's start with a little background. In 2023, the dating rumors picked up steam when Cha Yunru was spotted at Coachella 2023 attending Blackpink's afterparty. This incident was one of the key pieces of evidence presented in a now viral TikTok video, which has garnered over 600,000 views. But that's not all. Fans have been piecing together various instances that suggest a possible romance. For example, in 2021, both idols shared photos of themselves visiting the same art exhibition around 15 days apart. Fast forward to 2022, and the coincidences continue. Both Aois and Yunwu were in Paris for Fashion Week and posted similar photos, including snapshots taken at the same restaurant. Then, in 2024, they both shared content from their visits to the Team Labs Planet Museum in Japan, just days apart. The account that compiled this proof didn't stop there. They also shared photos from late January and early February 2022, showing Aois and Yunwu striking the same poses in different locations reminiscent of the love stigrams often shared by celebrity couples. While these could all be coincidences, many fans are hopeful that there is some truth to the rumors. Whether they are just friends or something more, the chemistry between ROS and Yunwu has certainly captivated the imagination of their fans. Today, we have some exciting news that's been heating up social media. Suzy's new photos with Park Bio Gum have fans buzzing with dating rumors. 
let's dive into the details. Suze's recent Instagram post has become a hot topic. The K-movie Wonderland, which was released on June 5th, stars Suzy as Jeong In, a flight attendant who uses a special service to communicate with her comatose boyfriend, Te Jeo, played by Park Bio Gum. Even before the movie's release, fans couldn't get enough of the on-screen chemistry between Suzy and Park Bio Gum. Despite the pair being known as friends, their photos together have sparked speculation among fans. The buzz around their relationship status has only grown with Suzy's latest Instagram post on June 29th. She shared some behind-the-scenes photos from the filming process of Wonderland, giving fans a peek into their on-set moments. Among the photos, several feature Park Bio Gum, including this adorable shot of him posing as a crew member. However, it's the couple shots of the on-screen lovers that have caused the most speculation. Their chemistry is undeniable, making them look like a real couple. Susie even included Polaroid shots of the two, showing some cute and intimate moments. These photos have fans excited and, naturally, a bit confused about the nature of their relationship. Today, we have some exciting and groundbreaking news in the world of K-dramas and K-pop. 2PM's OK Tisian is making headlines with his upcoming debut in a BL drama. Let's get into all the details. It was recently reported that 2PM's OK Tisian would star in a new Netflix J-drama titled Soulmate. This news has fans buzzing with excitement. On June 27th, Sports Chosen revealed that Tisian is currently filming this intriguing series. Soulmate tells the story of a Japanese man named Rwayu and a Korean boxer named Johan, also known as Johan. Over a decade, they meet in various cities like Seoul, Berlin, and Tokyo, and grow closer as they help each other heal from past wounds. Tisun Seo star is the well-known Japanese actor Hayato Asinuro, who you might recognize from Alice in Borderland and other popular titles. Initially described as a bromance, the series was later confirmed to be a BL boy love drama by Netflix. Netflix's official social media accounts posted a photo of Tisian and Hayato Asinuro sitting side by side, clarifying that Soulmate is a love story between two young men, spanning 10 years and multiple cities. The tweet announcing the series went viral, accumulating over 647.6 thousand views in no time. Fans were shocked and thrilled by Netflix's announcement, and the listing for Soulmate is now in the LGBTQ plus category on the platform. This marks a significant moment for both Tisian and the representation of LGBTQ plus stories in mainstream media. Tisian has shared his thoughts on this new venture, expressing his eagerness to discover new sides of himself and portray his character with sincerity. This isn't the first time a K-pop idol has starred in a PL drama, but it's a remarkable step in LGBTQ plus inclusion and representation especially since TC and comes from one of the hottest second-gen K-pop groups, and this is a major Netflix production. Today, we have a hot topic that's been creating quite a stir among netizens. Ispa's Karina is facing criticism for her choice of clothing, but many fans have come to her defense. Let's dive into the details. Ispa's Karina, one of the most popular idols of the fourth generation, has found herself under intense scrutiny once again. A recent post on a community site went viral, accusing Karina of purposely wearing clothes to emphasize her chest. The post gained over 60,000 views and included an old picture of Karina in a shoulderless grey top that revealed her cleavage. The picture was from a post uploaded on eSpar's official X account, formerly known as Twitter, back in 2021. While the original poster may have insinuated that Karina's top was too revealing, not everyone shared this sentiment. Many Korean netizens quickly jumped to Karina's defense, claiming that she receives hate only due to her immense popularity. Some even compared her outfit to those of other idols, arguing that Karina's clothes are not nearly as revealing. Fans speculated that the criticism stems from jealousy and praised Karina for her style and confidence. It's clear that Karina has a strong fan base ready to support her against any criticism. What do you think about the situation? Today, we have some exciting news about one of Korea's beloved actresses, Park Shin Hai. She recently completed a stunning photoshoot for the July issue of Vogue Hong Kong and opened up about her love for acting and her upcoming drama. Let's get into it. On July 4th, Sort Entertainment unveiled Park Shin Hai's cover for the July issue of Vogue Hong Kong. She graced the magazine with three different print covers, including a digital cover, 
showcasing her elegance and captivating charm. The released pictorials highlight Park Shin Hai's sophisticated beauty as she stares charmingly at the camera with deep, expressive eyes. She also posed in various ways to accentuate the luxurious jewelry she was wearing, truly embodying grace and elegance. During the photo shoot, Park Shin Hai also participated in an interview where she shared her heartfelt thoughts about her acting career. She said, when I miss the moments of acting in front of the camera or when I enjoy acting, I realized I love this job and I'm really enjoying doing this job. Park Shin Hai also introduced her upcoming acting project, The Judge from Hell. She described her character, Kaum Bit Na, as a devil from hell whose mission is to kill those who are unforgiven and unrepentant, then send them to hell. She expressed her excitement about the role noting that it's an attractive character that requires a different kind of expression compared to her previous roles. Park Shin Hai added, Kong Bit Na likes fancy things, and her personality is also different from other characters I played, raising expectations for her new drama. We can't wait to see Park Shin Hai in The Judge from Hell. What do you think about her new role and her stunning photo shoot for Vogue Hong Kong? Today, we have some thrilling news about BTS's Jin and his upcoming role in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Jin's selection as a torchbearer has caused a global sensation, and we're here to give you all the details. As of July 2nd, BTS's Jin topped Google Trends related to the 2.02 for Paris Olympics, generating explosive reactions worldwide. He also ranked first in Olympic-related topics such as Olympic Game and Olympic Game Paris 2.02 showcasing his immense influence and global presence. Major foreign media outlets have highlighted Jin's participation as a torchbearer. The American music media outlet Billboard featured an article titled BTS's Jin to serve as South Korea's torchbearer at 2020 for Paris Olympics, expressing anticipation for the hope and inspiration he will spread, even though specific details have not been disclosed yet. Rolling Stone also reported on Jin's exciting news. Alongside the torchbearer announcement, they mentioned Jin's post-military schedule, indicating a continued interest in his activities. The renowned British music magazine Enemy shared the news through its website and official social media. Enemy reported that Jin, a member of the world-famous boy group BTS, has been selected as a torchbearer for the 2020 for Summer Olympics in Paris. They also noted that Jin surprised fans at the offline event Jin's greetings with an unreleased extended version of Super Tuna following his discharge on June 12. Jin is expected to depart for France soon to participate as a torchbearer in the 2020 for Summer Olympics. This news has truly excited fans and the global community alike. What do you think about Jin being selected as a torchbearer for the 2020 for Paris Olympics? Are you excited to see him represent South Korea on such a grand stage? Today, we have some sizzling news about Astro's Cha Yunmu and his jaw-dropping performance at the 2020 for Waterbomb Festival. Let's dive into the details that have everyone talking. Astro's Cha Yunmu surprised festival goers as a surprise guest for the 2020 for Waterbomb event held on July 5, 2024. Looking absolutely refreshing, he posed with a bottle of Sprite, the main sponsor of the event for which he is a spokesmodel. Fans went wild when Cha Yunwu took to the stage for an explosive performance, bearing his abs and sending everyone into a frenzy. Look at that lip bite. It's no wonder the crowd went feral every time he appeared on the big screen. He also treated fans to some behind-the-scenes photos of himself in a drenched shirt, further heating up the atmosphere. Although he was dressed more modestly compared to other performers, who bared their entire of a half, Cha Yunwu's visuals still caused an explosive reaction online. Fans couldn't get enough of him, flooding social media with comments like, This gave me such a hard time I had to watch it three times before I could turn it off. His face is too much. Insanity. And Cha Yunwu, the hottest man on earth. It's clear that Cha Yunwu's performance at the 2024 Waterbomb Festival left a lasting impression. What did you think about his surprise appearance and those incredible visuals? Today, we have some exciting news about Blackpink's Lisa and her latest solo comeback. But it's not all smooth sailing. There's some controversy and unexpected fan reactions involved. Let's dive into the details. On June 28th, Blackpink's Lisa officially released her solo comeback music video, Rockstar, despite achieving impressive milestones. 
The release has faced significant controversies, including recent plagiarism accusations. Amidst the controversy, fans recently spotted Lisa making an unexpected visit to a Pop Mart store, a famous toy brand. This seemingly ordinary image caused a stir among fans. Some fans scorned Lisa for her visit, pointing out that she previously caused the price of a Pop Mart toy to increase by 400% and sell out everywhere. They fear this might happen again with her latest shopping trip. Many comments below the post were praying that Lisa does not post any pictures with toys from this brand on social media, out of fear that their favorite toys would become too expensive and unattainable. Some fans even try to identify what was in Lisa's bag to stock up before the value rises. Previously, Lisa posted a picture of herself with the Monsters Macaron Collection, the most popular set of this art toy series. Thanks to the rapper's photo, Labubu, which was already popular, became even more in demand, with everyone wanting to have a cheap moment with Lisa. Lisa's unintentional flexing started a trend of buying Labubu as decorative accessories. As a result, the prices on e-commerce platforms for Labubu soared by up to 400%. Even when the brand's website displayed sold out, people were willing to bid to own the same toy as the idol. It's fascinating to see how much influence Lisa has, even in the world of collectible toys. What do you think about this situation? Do you think Lisa should be more cautious about what she shares on social media? Today, we have some exciting news about Blackpink's Ginny and her stunning new look. Let's dive into the details. Blackpink's Ginny recently posted a video on her TikTok account, capturing everyone's attention with her lovely charms and fashionable outfit. The caption read, The unicorns were paid actors. In the video, Ginny lip syncs to music while pretending to ride a bicycle. She looks relaxed, enjoying the wind from a fan, and even acts like a unicorn doll, showing off her perfect body and impeccable fashion sense. Ginny paired a see-through cardigan with a black bustier and denim pants. This simple yet bold outfit reportedly costs a whopping 7.67 million won. Breaking it down, the cardigan costs 4.4 million won, the bustier 2.36 million won, and the denim pants 910,001. Ginny's fashion choices always leave fans in awe, and this look is no exception. Meanwhile, Ginny is preparing for her solo album after establishing her independent label, Oe, late last year. In April, she also participated in Zyko's digital single spot. It's clear that Ginny's style and music continue to captivate fans worldwide. What do you think about her latest look and upcoming solo album? Today, we have some adorable updates from two of our favorite actors, Park Seo Joon and Choi Woo Sik. Let's check out what they've been up to. On July 6th, Park Seo Joon shared some fun photos on his Instagram account with the caption, having a drink after getting of work today. Double quotes. Dot, dot, dot. In the photos, Park Seo Joon and Choi Woo Sik are seen enjoying beer side by side, both sporting Viking hats with orange hair braided in pigtails. They look absolutely adorable, showcasing their cute and playful sides. Fans couldn't get enough of this charming. It's always heartwarming to see our favorite stars sharing their everyday moments and having fun. Park Seo Joon and Choi Woo Sik definitely know how to make their fans smile. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Blackpink's Ginny. While she recently wowed fans with a daring outfit at a luxury brand event, not all the attention has been positive. Let's get into it. On July 4th, online communities were buzzing with opinions about Ginny's bold see-through outfit. She stunned everyone in a black mini see-through dress, paired with black stockings, reggae hair, a nose piercing, and bold accessories. The look was both sexy and lovely, and Ginny pulled it off with her unique aura and lighter than usual makeup. Fans were quick to share photos and express their admiration, with comments like, She looks amazing, so cute and only Ginny can pull this off. However, amidst the praise, some malicious comments critiquing Ginny's body also surfaced. These negative comments pointed out areas like her jaw and arms, claiming that she seemed to have gained weight. Remarks such as doesn't seem like she's managing herself, looks like she's gained weight, and her face looks fuller, sparked heated debates online. These negative comments pointed out areas like her jaw and arms, claiming that she seemed to have gained weight. Remarks such as doesn't seem like she's managing herself, looks like she's gained weight, and her face looks fuller, sparked heated debates online. In response, many netizens came to Ginny's defense, 
saying she's so slim that even a slight weight gain makes it noticeable. It's clear that Ginny's fans are standing by her, appreciating her for who she is. It's important to remember that all body types are beautiful, and we should support our idols for their talent and hard work, rather than criticize their appearances. Ginny continues to shine, and we're excited to see what she does next. Today, we're talking about IVE's Zhang Wanyang and the recent wave of criticism she's been facing. Let's dive into the details. Zhang Wanyao, known as a fourth generation it girl, has gone viral countless times for her talent and charm. However, with her fame, she's also been a frequent target of criticism and assumptions about her personality. These claims worsened when stylists were accused of showing favoritism towards Wanyao earlier in IVE's career. She's been criticized for the oddest things, from how she ate a strawberry to having arm hair. Recently, a viral clip from IVE's London show during their show What I Have World Tour sparked an influx of hate towards Wanyang. The video, which has over 1 million views on TikTok, shows Lisa wearing a crown that Wanyang takes off to put on herself. The clip labeled Wanyang as a pick me and played negative audio in the background. A pick me is someone who behaves in a certain way to attract romantic attention. While many commenters argued that this label was incorrectly used, they accused Wanyang of being rude and self-centered. However, fans quickly came to Wanyang's defense, pointing out that it was just two friends playing around. Photos taken by a fan show Lee Siu smiling and fixing the crown on Wanyang's head, supporting this claim. With the immense fame that IV has achieved, many fans believe that the members are often targeted for small, insignificant things, similar to other female idols. It's important to remember that context matters and that idols, like everyone else, deserve a fair and unbiased perspective. What do you think about this situation? Today, we're diving into the recent controversy surrounding Blackpink's Ginny. She's been severely slammed worldwide for smoking indoors. Let's get into the details. Blackpink's Ginny recently found herself in hot water after a clip from her vlog filmed in Capri went viral. In the video, Ginny was seen smoking indoors, which sparked significant backlash. Smoking indoors is illegal in many places, including Italy and South Korea. Ginny was seen lifting a device to her lips and exhaling smoke, which upset many netizens. The controversy didn't stop at the act of smoking indoors. Netizens also criticized Ginny for smoking in front of her staff, potentially exposing them to secondhand smoke. A particularly contentious moment showed Ginny exhaling smoke right in front of her makeup artist's face. Comments poured in from netizens expressing their shock and disappointment. Many questioned Ginny's judgment, especially for including this clip in her own vlog without editing it out. International netizens echoed these sentiments, highlighting that while Ginny, as an adult, has the right to smoke, doing so indoors and in front of others is problematic. This incident has sparked a heated debate online, with fans and critics alike weighing in on the situation. It's a reminder of the high standards celebrities are held to, and how actions can have wide-reaching consequences. What are your thoughts on this situation? Today, we're diving into a recent controversy surrounding Blackpink's Ginny, who found herself in hot water for smoking indoors. Let's break down what happened. Blackpink's Ginny recently faced significant backlash after fans noticed her smoking an electronic cigarette indoors in one of her vlogs. In the video, Ginny was seen using a dark-colored vape while getting her hair and makeup done. While Ginny is of legal age to smoke, indoor smoking is prohibited in many countries, including South Korea and Italy, where she was at the time. The criticism intensified because Ginny was VOPing in front of her staff. This raised concerns about second-hand smoke exposure and professional conduct. In response to the backlash, Ginny issued a public apology through her agency, Odatelli. However, the public response has been largely negative, with many feeling that the apology was insufficient. Fans are expressing their feelings of betrayal and disappointment. Comments like, Wow, seeing stuff like this totally ruins it for me. I can't view her the same way as before. And, The image I had of her is completely shattered. I am shocked. Show just how much this incident has affected her image. Despite the apology, the backlash continues, with many urging Ginny to be more mindful of her actions in the future. This incident highlights the scrutiny celebrities face and the importance of being aware of their influence and behavior. Today, 
We're talking about JSSI's electrifying performance at Waterbump 2024 that has everyone buzzing. Let's dive right in. On July 7th, JSSI posted photos and videos on her personal social media, showcasing her unforgettable performance at Waterbump 2024. Dressed in a string bikini that highlighted her chest line, paired with jeans, JESSI didn't hold back. She wowed the audience with bold gestures, including touching her chest, twerking, and making provocative movements. Fans were absolutely thrilled. Both domestic and international supporters flooded her comment section with fire emojis, showing their excitement and support for her daring performance. And who can blame them? JESSI has always been known for her fierce and unapologetic style. She continues to make waves with her hit songs like Nu Nu Nana, What Type of X and Zoom. JESSI's performance at Waterbum 2024 is just another example of her pushing boundaries and staying true to herself, which is why her fans love her so much. Today, we're diving into the world of Blackpink's Hiso, who recently made headlines with her stunning appearance at Karchi's Trinity 100th anniversary celebration in Singapore. You won't want to miss this. So, Hiso, who is undeniably one of K-pop's top visuals, was absolutely glowing at this high-profile event. Let's break down her look and all the fabulous moments from the celebration. Hiso chose to wear a mini dress from GC Spring or Summer 2020 for collection. This dress isn't just any dress, it has a unique and beautiful shape that makes a statement. She truly made the dress her own, accentuating her slender and toned physique. It's no wonder why she's known for her impeccable fashion sense. During the event, Hiso didn't just look amazing, she exuded charm and grace as she interacted with other attendees. Her presence was magnetic. What's more, Hiso took the time to engage with her fans, who were ecstatic to see her. She always manages to create a special connection with Blinks, making every moment memorable. Her warm interactions and stunning visuals were truly a highlight of the night. The way she effortlessly captivates everyone around her is nothing short of impressive. And can we talk about how she managed to look both sophisticated and playful? Her outfit was perfectly complemented by minimal yet striking accessories, making her overall look flawless. Jisoo's ability to blend high fashion with her own unique style is what sets her apart. Every detail of her appearance, from the dress to the accessories, was on point. And let's not forget about her makeup. With a lighter touch than usual, she highlighted her natural beauty, giving her a fresh and ethereal look. He so truly shined at Cartier's event, showcasing why she is such a beloved figure in the K-pop world and beyond. Her elegance, charm, and stunning visuals left a lasting impression on everyone. So, what do you all think of Jisoo's look at the Cartier event? Personally, I think she nailed it. Today, we have some exciting news about BTS's V, who has always been a trendsetter with his fashion choices. Recently, he made headlines for using his style to support a very important cause. Let's dive into the details. BTS's V is known for his impeccable fashion sense and for using his platform to vocalize support for various causes. This time, he gained attention for showing his support for the LGBTQ community through a thoughtful wardrobe choice in his new photo book, Type 1. The photo book sent the internet into a frenzy with some incredibly sexy pictures of B, showcasing his charismatic and sultry side. But beyond the striking visuals, fans noticed something even more meaningful. Dot, 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 in one of the adorable photos, V is holding heart balloons, and what caught everyone's attention was his t shirt. It reads, Love My Way. A clear nod to the LGBTQ plus community. The t-shirt is from the brand All Saints and was released in 2023 on their website. The quote accompanying the shirt states, Whatever, whoever and wherever you love, reflecting a strong message of inclusivity and support for the LGBTQ plus community. The phrase Love My Way is also the title of a song by the psychedelic Furs, which was written for gay people and focuses on sexuality. This song was notably featured in the soundtrack for the hit BL movie Call Me By Your Name. When netizens discovered the t-shirt and its message, they were full of praise for V, appreciating his choice of outfit and the subtle yet powerful statement it made. Fans were quick to share other moments where V's fashion choices conveyed meaningful messages. His consistent use of fashion to support and uplift various communities is truly commendable. V's ability to blend his love for fashion with his dedication to important causes makes him not only a great fashionista, but also a role model for fans worldwide. So, what do you think of V's latest fashion statement? Personally, 
I think it's amazing how he uses his platform to spread love and positivity. Today, we're diving into some thrilling news about BTS's Jungkook and his upcoming solo feature film. Let's get into it. Over the last few years, K-pop groups have increasingly embraced the trend of releasing feature films, giving fans a unique behind-the-scenes look at their favorite idols' lives. BTS, in particular, has been at the forefront of this trend, releasing several films that showcase the intense preparations for their concerts and events. And they haven't stopped there, they've even started releasing solo films, like Sugar Sigast Utility Day. On July 11th, the BTS official account dropped some bombshell news. Jungkook is set to be the next member to hit the big screen with his solo film titled I Am Still. Fans were both thrilled and intrigued, buzzing with questions about what the movie might be about. However, it turns out Jungkook has already given us some major hints. First, ARM is remembered a graffiti-style drawing Jungkook shared back in 2019 that said I'm still me. This artwork seems to connect directly to the movie title, hinting at a deeper personal journey. But that's not all, Jungkook also gave away more about the film during his episode of Su Twitter with Su Jie. He revealed that he was filming a documentary that would follow him from the release of his hit single Seven to his solo album Golden. With these revelations, fans have a clearer picture of what to expect an intimate documentary chronicling Jungkook's journey through a significant chapter in his career. This rediscovery has only fueled the excitement and anticipation among armies worldwide. Jungkook's documentary promises to be an inspiring and heartfelt glimpse into his life and artistry, offering fans an up-close and personal experience. So, what are your thoughts on Jungkook's upcoming documentary, I Am Still? Are you as excited as we are? Today, we're diving into the latest campaign featuring Blackpink's R.O.S. and St. Laurent. Trust me, you don't want to miss this R.O.S. is serving some serious looks. Let's get into it. Recently, R.O.S. had fans buzzing with excitement as she graced the latest St. Laurent drive through its summer campaign. The Blackpink star continues to amaze us with her charisma and modeling prowess, truly standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with professional models. In this stunning series of photos, R.O.S. dazzles with her top-tier presence donning luxurious and trendy outfits from St. Laurent. Her style in these photos is impeccable. She opted for a low, loose ponytail that exudes both femininity and seduction. Paired with nude orange makeup, RS's captivating appearance highlights her overwhelming charisma and aura. Blackpink's main vocalist turns heads with her sexy, alluring look in a lace two-strap dress, striking seductive poses that flaunt her slender, model-like figure. This ensemble, exuding a summer vibe, perfectly complements the sophisticated French fashion house's style. Iris's smooth, long legs are showcased beautifully in this new campaign. She stands in a combo of a short black dress, tights, and high heels, proving once again that her elegance and style are always a perfect match for Saint Laurent. It's no wonder she's often referred to as a living Saint Laurent. It's clear that Iris and Saint Laurent are a match made in fashion heaven. She continues to set the bar high with her stunning visuals and unparalleled style. Truly, she embodies the essence of a St. Laurent muse. What do you think about R.O.S.'s latest campaign with St. Laurent? Today, we're talking about the controversy sparked by Billboard's recent tweet involving Blackpink's Ginny and Lisa. This one has really gotten fans fired up. Let's dive in. On July 9th, Billboard shared a tweet that managed to anger many Blackpink fans, also known as Blinks. The tweet referred to two major pieces of news, Lisa's exciting announcement about performing at the Global Citizen Festival and Ginny's apology for VAPing in a deleted clip from her recent vlog. Instead of celebrating Lisa's achievement and addressing Ginny's issue separately, Billboard chose to combine them in one tweet. This decision didn't sit well with fans. The tweet led to a fan war between Ginny and Lisa's fans, with some using the contrasting news to hurl insults and negativity at each other. Blinks quickly called out Billboard for what they saw as unprofessional behavior, accusing the outlet of pitting the two members against each other. Fans pointed out that it's common to combine news pieces for social media, but in this case, the nature of the news was so different that it felt inappropriate. 
celebrating Lisa's performance announcement alongside Jeannie's controversial news seemed unfair and only fueled more division within the fandom. Combined two vastly different pieces of news not only creates unnecessary tension among fans, but also takes away from the individual achievements and issues of each member. Ginny and Lisa both deserve their moments to be addressed appropriately. What are your thoughts on this controversy? Do you think Billboard should have handled it differently? Today, we're talking about Twice's Jian Jian and the outpouring of support she's received from netizens after facing unfair criticism about her appearance. Let's get into it. Recently, Twice was spotted at the airport heading to Japan for their ready-to-be special tour dates. As usual, fans and media were there to capture the members, and the photos quickly made their way online. However, in a viral forum post, a netizen decided to target Jian Jian criticizing her appearance instead of expressing genuine concern for her health. The original poster compared current photos of Jian Jian to older ones, making hurtful comments about her looks. The comments were harsh, with statements like, Why is her appearance like that today? She looks like she's in her 70s, and where did she go? These remarks were not only unkind, but also insensitive, given Jian Jian's health issues. In 2021, Jian Jian went on hiatus due to a herniated disc and anxiety, and her medication likely contributed to some weight gain. Despite these challenges, she continues to show strength and resilience. While the internet can be a harsh place, it was heartening to see many netizens coming to Jian Jian's defense, calling out the unnecessary criticism and reminding everyone of the importance of compassion. Jian Jian's fans stood up for her, emphasizing that she is beautiful and deserves respect and understanding especially given her health struggles. They also reminded everyone that celebrities are human too and should not be judged harshly for changes in their appearance. We are excited to see Jian Jian and the other members hit the stage in Japan. Let's continue to support and show love to our favorite idols, appreciating their hard work and dedication. Today, we've got some heartwarming news from the Running Man team. Kim Yong-kook recently shared a behind-the-scenes look at their concert tour, and it's filled with sweet moments and hilarious interactions. Let's dive in. On July 11th, Kim Yong-kook uploaded a video titled The Fantastic Chemistry of the Members Who Have Been Together for 14 Years Feet, Running Man on his YouTube channel, Jim Yong-kook. This video gave fans an inside look at the Running Man concert tour preparations. The video starts with Kim Yong-kook heading to the concert hall after a workout at the hotel gym. As the rehearsal began, the Running Man members showed their excitement, capturing each other on camera. Song Ji Hyo, Young Se Chan, and Ji Suk Jin prepared a duet of Sob 3 as Here We Go Again, while Kim Yong Kook and Song Ji Hyo rehearsed the Jidu's conversation is needed. The highlight Kim Yong Kook and Song Ji Hyo shared a sweet moment, putting their arms around each other and drawing a big heart on stage. Kim Yong Kook added some humor by saying, I keep listening to Ji Hyo's songs so I think I'm going to have a ghost. After watching Song Ji Hyo's rehearsal, Ji Suk Jin agreed, adding, it breaks through the recording. When the actual performance began, the local fans' enthusiasm was overwhelming. They passionately cheered for Kim Young Kook during his one-man stage, and at the end of the show, the members sang his hit, Lovely, adding to the vibrant atmosphere. They also took the time to give autographs and take selfies, showcasing their exceptional fan service. Kim Young Kook shared his gratitude, saying, the Running Man tour will continue on a new stage. Please look forward to it. It was a happy moment to breathe and enjoy together with overseas fans who always send their unchanging support from afar. It's clear that the Running Man team shares a special bond, both with each other and their fans. We can't wait to see what they have in store next. Today, we have some exciting news that's sure to get you buzzing. 2 PM's Tsian, who has been a heartthrob for years, has recently turned heads with a stunning new photo shoot. Let's dive into the details and see why everyone is talking about it. Tsian, known for his strong and masculine image, Tsian has often been seen sporting a buff look, especially after his military service where he earned the nickname Captain Career for his impressive physique. But recently, Tsian took a surprising turn in a photo shoot with Kito magazine. His latest fashion looks are a departure from the rugged image we're used to. Let's take a closer look at these jaw-dropping photos. In these photos, Tsian shows of a softer side that we haven't seen before. One particular look that went viral on X shows him wearing shorts that resemble a skirt. His long legs and trim waist are on full display, 
and fans can't get enough of it. This look has generated a lot of buzz online, with netizens expressing their admiration for his daring fashion choice. Many are praising his ability to pull off such a unique style. But that's not all. The photoshoot also includes some looks that maintain his masculine charm, with shots highlighting his chest muscles and strong build. Let's take a look at some of these contrasting styles. Tsion's ability to effortlessly switch between different styles is truly impressive. Whether he's showcasing a softer side or his well-known buff physique, he never fails to captivate his audience. It's this versatility that makes him such a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Now, let's talk about some of the specific reactions from fans. Many were stunned by the way Tsion can pull off such diverse looks. One fan commented, Tsion can literally wear anything and still look amazing, while another said, his duality is no joke. It's clear that Tsion's latest photo shoot has left a lasting impression. But what does this mean for his career? Could we see more of these bold fashion choices in the future? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure Tsion continues to surprise and delight his fans. This photo shoot marks an interesting point in Tsion's fashion evolution. Over the years, we've seen him grow from a charismatic idol to a versatile actor, and now a fashion icon. His willingness to experiment with different styles shows his confidence and creativity. What do you think about Tsion's latest photo shoot? Do you prefer his new, softer look? Or are you a fan of his classic, rugged style? Today, we have an incredible story that will warm your hearts. On the latest episode of SBS Running Man, Kim Yong kook shared a touching confession about his past. Let's dive into the details. In the July 14th episode of Running Man, the members embarked on a unique adventure, visiting some of the most unexpected vacation spots. The episode featured a midsummer temperature difference race, where participants had to find summer retreats to beat the extreme heat. But it was Kim Yong kooks heartfelt confession that truly stole the show. The race involved throwing darts at a map of Seoul to randomly select a summer retreat. Once they landed on a location, they had to ask residents, where a summer is retreat where you can forget the heat and have fun. This led to some fantastic and unique recommendations, many of which were completely new to the MZ generation. Rather than the usual beaches or water parks, these neighborhood retreats offered fresh and exciting ways to beat the heat. The reactions were priceless, with members saying things like, this is the first time I've been here in my life, and this is a place I could never have imagined. However, the fun was limited to a select few. While the vacation faction members enjoyed the cool air conditioning, coffee and snacks, the labor faction members had to do odd jobs in the blazing sun. This contrast led to some hilarious complaints, but it also brought out a touching story from Kim Yong kook As the labor faction members sweated it out, Kim Yong kook shared a poignant memory. He revealed that when he was young, he helped his mother with her side job making door clothes. Despite the hard work, they only earned 3,001. This glimpse into his past showed his extraordinary dexterity and work ethic. Kim Yong kooks confession added a layer of depth to the episode, reminding everyone of his humble beginnings and strong bond with his mother. His ability to adapt quickly to simple labor tasks impressed everyone and showcased a different side of the beloved star. What a touching story from Kim Yong kook It's moments like these that make Running Man such a beloved show. Did this confession touch your heart too? Today, we have an exclusive and heartwarming story straight from BTS's Jin. Recently, Jin shared his unexpected feelings during his military discharge, and it's something you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Last month, the BTS members attended Jin's military discharge, and he recently recounted the experience in an interview with Wakaria. From his perspective, the story is both touching and funny. At first, Jin couldn't spot the members amid the cameras and journalists. After greeting everyone, he finally approached his fellow BTS members. What he saw next made him laugh. Jin noticed that the members were hugging each other without him, and he humorously shared this with Korea, saying, they were all hugging each other without me, you know? This funny moment quickly turned into a heartfelt one. Jin realized that the members not only missed him, but also each other. It had been a while since they were all together, and the reunion was emotional for everyone. Jin confessed, when I was in the military, I really missed the members, so I thought they must have felt the same way too. This shows just how strong their bond is. Grateful for their unity, Jin was moved by the group's effort to greet him. As the first BTS member discharged from the military, he took the opportunity to give his fellow members some words of encouragement. Jin shared his wisdom, 
saying, Our members, time is moving fast. So if we live diligently and well, good days will come. I'll be working hard on good things ahead. So I hope you stay healthy and come out well. Of course, Jin, just like us fans, is eagerly anticipating the return of the other members. His positive outlook and heartfelt words are truly inspiring. What a touching story from Jin. It's moments like these that remind us of the deep bond between the BTS members. How did this story make you feel? Today, we have some exciting and heartwarming news from the world of Thai entertainment. Beloved actors Mu Sapazit, Jung Shavivit, and T.U.L. Paik and Tyler Thanesharvinichi have officially confirmed their relationship. Let's dive into the details of this beautiful revelation. Mutal, as fans affectionately call them, have been known for their close friendship, but it wasn't until recently that they confirmed their romantic relationship in a touching video. The pair didn't start as an on-screen couple, but their genuine friendship has blossomed into something more. Mu first gained widespread attention in Thantype, the series where he played one of the titular characters alongside golf Kanawat Trevor Patanapon. Since then, he's appeared in numerous projects and made history as H&M's first ever brand ambassador in Thailand and Asia in 2024. TUL, on the other hand, started his career as a model before making his mark in the series Bad Romance, which led to a spin-off starring him and his on-screen partner Max Natpol Dilek Narit. On July 12th, Mew and T.U.L. appeared on the Goina Tidrun channel, where they opened up about their relationship. The video is filled with heartfelt moments as they share their journey from friendship to romance. Throughout the video, Mew and T.U.L. discuss how they first met and the ways they show love for each other. Mew shared a sweet story of visiting T.U.L. in the United States three times while T.U.L. was in college, which led them to agree that Mew is crazier in love. They also shared what they appreciate most about each other. T.U.L. expressed his gratitude for meeting Mew, while Mew managed to fluster T.U.L. by initially saying he likes him because he is cute, before giving a deeper answer about how they help each other improve. Near the end of the episode, T.U.L. talked about the challenges of going public with their relationship and the negative reactions they might face. Mew echoed these sentiments but mentioned that society has changed for the better, and he feels no need to hide who he is. We are overjoyed to see Mew and T.U.L. openly share their relationship with the world. Their honesty and love for each other are truly inspiring, and it's wonderful to see them facing challenges together. What are your thoughts on Mew and Tol's revelation? We're thrilled to see them so happy and open about their relationship. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we're diving into a recent Instagram exchange that has got seven fans talking. Jackson Wank, a member of GOT7, responded to a fan's comment questioning his feelings about the group. Let's break down what happened. Jackson Wank recently found himself addressing concerns from a fan regarding his sentiments about GOT7. The interaction started with a fan accusing Jackson of seeing GOT7 as a thing of the past, referencing a post he liked on Weibo. The fan's comment was quite emotional, saying, To you, GOT7 is in the past. However, it can't be denied that GOT7 existed in your life for 10 years. I don't know if the Weibo post you like today has that meaning, but I don't want to guess anymore. Let the wonderful things stay in the past. I will remember all the happiness that GOT7's Jackson brought me, but please respect the existence of group fans. We are humans too, and we also have emotions. We are not animals, we also have bad moods. The Weibo post in question likely relates to an excerpt from Jackson's interview with Harper's Bazaar China for their August 2024 edition. In the interview, Jackson discussed the difficulties of forming genuine friendships in the entertainment industry. Jackson said, Because what I've experienced in this industry over the years is that when I make friends, I don't know if I'm making friends with the person themselves, or if I'm making friends with the person's team or if I'm making friends with the person's fans. It's hard for me to have a pure and direct friendship, especially with people my age. The fan interpreted this as a possible reference to GOT7, leading to their emotional comment on Instagram. Jackson, who has faced questions about his status with GOT7 since starting his solo career, responded simply and directly. Jackson replied, What are you saying? This response highlights his confusion and perhaps frustration over the fans' assumption. This interaction has sparked a lot of discussion among fans. Many understand Jackson's challenges in balancing his solo career with his history in GOT7, while others are sensitive about any perceived distancing from the group. Jackson's solo career has been a major focus for him, but his connection to GOT7 and its fans remains significant. 
it's important to remember the complexities idols face in their careers and personal lives. What do you think about Jackson's response? How do you interpret his comments about friendship in the industry? Today, we're diving into a hot topic literally. It seems like the BTS members have been shedding their shirts left and right, despite what we mentioned on Sugar Show, Sutrita. Let's get into the details. In a recent episode of Sutrita, he made a clear statement. I saw that there are armies who think that Chapter 2 is about taking our shirts off. But I repeat, Chapter 2 has nothing to do with taking our shirts off. However, it seems like the rest of BTS has been doing the exact opposite. He himself recently went shirtless for his new photo book. Jimin followed suit for his face album, and we've seen J-Hope and Isuji go shirtless for a few photos as well. I'm and Jungkook have been more daring, going shirtless on multiple occasions. And let's not forget Jin, who went shirtless before his enlistment to show off his friendship tattoo on his back. Speaking of Jin, a new interview with him was posted via W Korea. He did a photo shoot with the magazine, and the behind-the-scenes footage gave us some interesting insights. During the shoot, Jin was asked to go shirtless under another clothing article. Jin politely declined, saying, Don't wear a shirt underneath. That is, I'm a bit of a conservative person. I'm not so confident about my body. Amis found it quite ironic that the first BTS member to post a shirtless photo on Instagram was now hesitant to go shirtless for a photo shoot. But many fans were also proud of Jin for speaking up and sticking to his comfort zone. It's important to remember that while some members might feel comfortable showing more skin, others, like Jin, might not. And that's perfectly okay. Everyone should do what they're comfortable with. What do you think about this shirtless trend among the BTS members? And how do you feel about Jin's decision to stay covered up? We've got some thrilling updates about the upcoming episode of Running Man that you won't want to miss. The episode airing on the 21st is set to celebrate the 2024 Paris Olympics with a special race titled 2024 Burning Running Pick. Let's dive into what's in store. This special episode features Running Man rivals Yu Jae Suk and Kim Young Kook as team leaders. Right from the start, the two are given a choice, right or left. Based on their choices, they need to gather their teammates by navigating through narrow alleys and assemble at the opening location, sparking a fiery war of nerves. Yu Jae Suk quickly proved to be the best driver, expertly maneuvering through the tight alleys with his sharp judgment. On the other hand, Kim Young Kook relied solely on his intuition, confidently declaring, you have to go this way no matter what. Their contrasting styles made for an entertaining and intense start. In an interesting twist, both team leaders encountered each other in the alley where Ji Yi Yuen was waiting. This led to a humorous battle for the youngest member, with shouts of don't drive properly, and Ji Yi Yuen, get in here. It's a showdown to see who can assemble their team first and arrive at the opening location. But that's not all. The episode will feature a running man style sports competition. Fittingly themed for the 204 burning running pick, the goal is to guard the torch, a symbol of running pick. However, the challenge is intensified by heavy rain falling nationwide, adding an element of crisis to the competition. How will the teams handle the rain and the challenges it brings? Will you Jae Suk's sharp judgment or Kim Yong Kook's intuition prevail? You will have to tune in to find out. Don't miss the 204 Burning Running Pick on Running Man, airing at 6.15pm on the 21st. It's going to be an episode filled with excitement, laughter, and intense competition. What are your predictions for this special episode? Which team do you think will come out on top? Today, we're diving into the surprising turn of events for GTBC's new entertainment program. My name is Gabriel. The show has just hit an all-time low in viewership, and we're here to break down why this might be happening. My Name is Gabriel was one of the most anticipated shows of the year, created by Kim Tae Cho, the mastermind behind the legendary Infinite Challenge, and featuring a star-studded lineup including Park B. O. Gum, Ji Chang Wook, Park Myung Soo, Yeon Ho Ran, Dex, and Gabi, expectations were sky high. The concept of the show, which involves these celebrities experiencing the lives of ordinary people around the world, intrigued many. It promised a fresh and engaging format. The show premiered on June 21st, and initially, it maintained a respectable viewership of over 1% for its first four episodes. However, the fifth episode, which aired on July 19th, saw a sharp decline, recording only 0.897% viewership. While some viewers enjoy the show quietly, 
others are finding it boring. Park Myung So, however, seems to be a highlight for some, with one comment stating, Park Myung So is freaking hilarious though. Others have pointed out issues with promotion. I don't even know which OGT platform I can watch it on. If people don't actively look it up, how else will it get exposure? Another viewer said, the problem starts at the very title. Some viewers are confused about the show's concept, saying, I don't understand the concept. It's boring. So, what went wrong? It seems to be a combination of factors. The content itself may not be resonating with viewers as expected. The promotion appears to be lacking, leading to low awareness of the show. And finally, the show's title and concept might not be as compelling as initially thought. Despite the star power and unique premise, My Name is Gabriel is struggling to find its fitting. It will be interesting to see if the producers make any changes to boost viewership in the coming episodes. What do you think about My Name is Gabriel? Have you watched it? If so, what are your thoughts? Today, we're diving into the recent uproar surrounding K-pop star Hyuna and the cancellation of her US tour dates. This story has sparked a heated debate on social media, especially on X, formerly known as Twitter. Let's get into the details. Hyuna recently announced the cancellation of several tour dates in the US and Canada, and fans are buzzing with opinions. This news has led to a fiery discussion about whether Hyuna is receiving more criticism than she deserves, especially when compared to her fiancé. Yong Chun Hyung. Earlier this year, Hyuna faced significant backlash after revealing her relationship with Yong Chun Hyung, who has been implicated in the Burning Sun scandal. The controversy only intensified when the couple announced their engagement recently. Following the reveal of their relationship, Hyuna planned a tour across America. However, this announcement was met with substantial disapproval. Many fans expressed their refusal to attend her concerts due to her association with Chun Hyung. As the tour dates approached, it became clear that four of the scheduled performances had been cancelled without any official explanation. Additionally, many resale tickets were available for the remaining dates, indicating that initial buyers were trying to offload their tickets. This situation led to a viral tweet, which has garnered over 7.1 million views and 105.7 thousand likes, pointing out the discrepancy in the level of criticism directed at Hyuna compared to her fiancé. The tweet highlighted how Hyuna's tour faced backlash and cancellations, while Jun Hyun seemed to evade similar levels of scrutiny for his past actions. This tweet sparked a broader and heated debate among K-pop fans. Some argued that the criticism is warranted due to Hyuna's previously crafted image of feminism and support for women, which they feel contradicts her relationship with someone involved in a sex scandal. Others believe that both should be held equally accountable. They argue that Hyuna chose to stay with Jun Hyun despite his controversial past, and therefore, she deserves the backlash as well. As the debate continues, opinions remain divided. Some fans feel that Hyuna is unfairly targeted, while others argue that her actions and associations justify the criticism. What do you think about the whole situation? Do you believe Hyuna is receiving unfair criticism, or do you think it's justified? Today, we're diving into the latest controversies surrounding BTS's V and his recent Instagram post that has caused quite a stir online. Let's break down what happened and why fans are so upset. On July 21st, he posted a series of old pictures on his Instagram, and one of these pictures included a bag of fries from McDonald's. Now, BTS's association with McDonald's isn't new. However, in the current global climate, the brand carries significant political implications. McDonald's has been named a boycott target by the BDS movement after it started donating free meals for the Israeli army following Israel's attacks on Gaza, recognized as crimes against humanity by the International Court of Justice. A significant part of the BDS fanbase, especially Palestinian fans and their allies, have been campaigning for months, urging Hype to cut tears with Zionism. Recently, Fans have even asked BTS directly to speak up in solidarity with Palestinians. So, V's post featuring McDonald's fries amidst this sensitive situation has caused deep hurt in the community. Some fans argue that V might be unaware of the controversy due to pro-Palestinian fans being censored heavily in online spaces, which prevents the BTS members from knowing what their fans are asking of them. Others, however, argue that the members have enough access to the internet to know what's happening in the world. Given that V is based in Seoul, where pro-Palestinian marches have been frequent, 
Some fans believe it's unlikely he is unaware of the issue. Some fans suggested that the photos were old and didn't imply support for McDonald's. However, others countered, pointing out that idols are usually very careful about displaying brands on their social media, and when they do, it is often seen as an endorsement. Fee has been particular about not displaying any brand he isn't professionally involved with on his Instagram. While some fans try to defend Fee by mentioning that certain local branches of McDonald's have donated to Aid Gazer, others quickly pointed out that regardless of ownership, these restaurants pay a charge to the parent company, tying them to McDonald's as a whole. What do you think about this situation? Do you think Fee should have been more aware of the implications of his post? Or do you believe this is an overreaction? Today, we're diving into the recent revelations from Astro's Cha E Yuen Wu about his nerve nerve wracking experience at Waterbomb 2024. Let's get into it. On July 22nd, the YouTube channel GQ Korea posted an intriguing video titled Cha E Yuen Wu, who looks so funny blankly staring for 8 minutes that you end up watching for 80, 800, or even 8,000 minutes. In this video, Cha Yi Yuen Wu shared his candid thoughts about his performance at Waterbomb Seoul 2024. When asked if he had seen the fan cam footage from the event, Cha Yi Yuen Wu admitted, I haven't seen it. I have seen the photos that fans have posted, but I don't really want to watch the fan cam. He went on to explain his feelings during the event, saying, Actually, I was quite nervous. I was thinking whether it was okay for me to be there, if it was alright, and because of that. I was more nervous than I expected. Despite his nerves, Cha Yuen Wu didn't initially hear the audience's cheers. Maybe because of that, I didn't hear the audience's cheers very well at the time. But after getting off the stage and seeing the videos posted by fans, I realized that they had cheered for me a lot. It's amazing to see how much love and support Cha Yuen Wu received from his fans despite his nervousness. It just goes to show how powerful the connection is between idols and their fans. In addition to his performance at Waterball, Cha E. Yuen Wu has been busy with his first solo mini album entity and his acting roles in dramas like Today's Lovable Doc and Wonderful World. He's definitely making waves in both the music and acting worlds. What do you think about Cha Yuen Wu's candid confession? Have you ever been nervous like him in front of a crowd? We have some jaw dropping news for you today. BTS's Jungkook was allegedly seen dining out with Seventeen's Ming Yu and Blackpink's Jinny. Let's dive into the details. On a recent viral post on threads, a netizen shared their surprise discovery at a Korean BBQ restaurant that actor Park Sung Hoon had visited in his vlog. The fan was shocked to see Jungkook's signature at the restaurant. The netizen asked the staff about Jungkook's visit, and they learned that Jungkook frequented the place and that the signature was from his first visit. But here's the kicker. The staff mentioned that Jungkook didn't come alone. He was accompanied by none other than Seventeen's Ming Yu and Blackpink's Jinny. The fan shared their shock, stating they didn't even know Jungkook and Jinny knew each other, let alone were close enough to dine out together. The revelation has left netizens in a frenzy, with many expressing their surprise at how close these top idols seem to be. What do you think about this unexpected trio hanging out together? Do you believe there's more to their friendship? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz in the K-pop world, dating rumors between Blackpink's Ginny and Seventeen's Minyu. Let's get into the details. Recently, fans have been speculating about a possible romance between Ginny from Blackpink and Minyu from Seventeen. So, what sparked these rumors? Well, it all started with fans noticing some coincidences. Ginny and Minyu have been spotted using similar items such as matching phone cases and sweaters. But that's not all. The speculation intensified when Mingyu's younger sister posted a picture of a restaurant in Japan that matched one scene on Ginny's Instagram. This led fans to believe that the two might have visited the restaurant together, adding fuel to the fire. Ginny was also spotted at Seventeen's Follow Again Tour concert in Seoul. This suggests a close relationship between the two idols, adding fuel to the fire. Ginny was also spotted at Seventeen's Follow Again Tour concert in Seoul. This suggests a close relationship between the two idols. Reactions from netizens have been mixed. While some fans are curious and suspicious, others believe the rumors are baseless, pointing out that Ginny has been linked to several different idols recently, including G-Dragon. So, are these just coincidences, or is there something more? As always in the world of K-pop, it's important to take rumors with a grain of salt and wait for any official statements from the idols themselves or their agencies. 
What do you think about these dating rumors? Do you believe Ginny and Mingyu are really dating? Or is it just another case of fan speculation? Today, we're diving into the latest rumors heating up the K-pop world. Dating speculations involving Espas Giselle and Rise's Wonbin. Let's get into the details. Earlier, fans speculated that Giselle and Wonbin might be dating after noticing they had similar accessories. But recently, the rumors have taken a new twist. Controversial ex-trainee Han Seo Hee has added fuel to the fire with her cryptic Instagram story. She used initials that fans have deciphered to mean. Wonbin has been dating Espas Giselle ever since he was a trainee due to her money. She even claimed to have a photo as evidence, which she shared through a DM. The photo shows a man and woman out late at night. Though their faces aren't visible, fans believe the woman's long brown hair and all black outfit match Giselle's usual style, while the man's bucket hat obscures his face. Although it's not clear who the individuals are, the similarities have led fans to believe it's Giselle and Wonbin. Netizens have mixed reactions. Some are convinced by the evidence, while others argue that it's purely speculation. And SEO He is known for her insider information and wide connections, but her credibility is often questioned. So, what do you think about these dating rumors? Do you believe Giselle and Wonbin are really dating? Or is this just another case of fan speculation fueled by controversial figures? Today, we're talking about a surprising connection between the world's biggest YouTuber, Mribist, and some top Korean celebrities including BTS's Veer. Let's dive into the details. As of July 2024, Rebist has around 340 million subscribers, making him the number one YouTube channel globally. Recently, a community post titled Rebist with 300 million subscribers follows a Korean celebrity caught everyone's attention. Rebist follows 526 people, most of whom are YouTubers, creators, and athletes. Among these are some big stars like Kim Kardashian, Travis Scott, Selena Gomez, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Holland, ZAC Efron, and even Mark Zuckerberg. But what's more intriguing is the six Korean celebrities he follows. Among them, three are male, BTS is V, actor Lee Ying Jae, and YouTube creator Kwak Chu. BTS is V holds the record for the most Instagram followers among Korean male celebrities, with 65.88 million followers. He's a global star with a massive influence, especially in the United States, where 16% of his followers are from. V is also ranked fourth on the list of most influential influences in the US, right after Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, and Selena Gomez, making him the highest ranking Asian star. Lee Yung Jae, known for his Emmy winning role in Squid Game, also caught Mribis' attention. Mribis' real life version of Squid Game from 2021 garnered approximately 600 million views, showing his deep connection with the series. Quackjube a prominent Korean YouTuber, participated in Rebeast's survival program and even met him in Boston, representing the strong TIs between Korean content creators and Rebeast. So, what do you think about these connections? Do you think Rebeast has more plans involving these Korean celebrities? Or is he just a big fan of their work? Today, we have some concerning updates about Got7 members Bam Bam and Jackson. Both have recently opened up about their struggles, raising concerns among fans. Let's get into it. First up, on July 26, Bam Bam shared a distressing SNS update where he expressed his wish to sleep and don't wake up so he can finally rest, although he reassured fans that he would find time to rest. The message has left many worried about his well-being. Fans have been pouring in with messages of support, hoping Bam Bam takes the necessary time to rest and recuperate. Meanwhile, Another GOT7 member, Jackson, has also drawn attention with his recent statements about loneliness and friendship. In an interview with Asia One, Jackson revealed his struggles with forming true friendships in the entertainment industry. He shared that he often feels uncertain if he's making friends with the person, their team, or their fans. For me, it is difficult to have a pure and direct friendship, especially with people who are close to my age, Jackson confessed. He also mentioned that while he's managing well and exploring his deepest emotions in solitude, the loneliness is still there. Adding to the concerns, Jackson has also been dealing with multiple stresses, including being swarmed by people during private schedules and even while exercising. It's clear that both Bam Bam and Jackson are going through challenging times, 
As fans, it's crucial to support them and respect their privacy. What do you think about their recent revelations? Today, we're diving into a situation that's causing a lot of concern and anger among Inhypen fans. Recent events involving Suni and a staff member have fans demanding better treatment for the idol. Let's break it down. Earlier this year, during Inhypen's American tour, a clip showing Sunu's interaction with a staff member gained attention. The video showed Sunu putting on a pair of sunglasses and a staff member aggressively pulling them of his face. Fans were quick to call out the mistreatment following that incident. Fans noted several other occasions where the same staff member, along with others, allegedly mistreated Sunu. Calls for better care and respect for the idol have been growing louder. Now, a recent airport incident has left fans alarmed once again. On July 26th, in hype and departed from Korea, heading to Los Angeles for Con LA 2024. As the group navigated through the airport, the typical mobbing occurred. In the footage, Sunu was walking behind a staff member when he was grabbed by another staff member and pulled forward to close the gap. Sunu appeared surprised but allowed himself to be moved. After this video was shared, fans couldn't believe Sunu was being treated this way again. Many were angered that the same staff member from the earlier incident was responsible for this one. Fans have been vocal on social media, expressing their outrage and concern for Sunu's well-being. Some pointed out how other staff members handled the group without grabbing them, highlighting the need for more respectful treatment. What do you think about this situation? Do you believe more should be done to ensure idols like Sunu are treated with the respect they deserve? Today, we're addressing the recent controversy surrounding Blackpink's Lisa. Amidst rumors and accusations, Lisa has finally made an appearance in the Oz, putting many speculations to rest. Let's get into the details. On July 27th, Lisa was seen in the Oz, looking as stunning as ever. A dancer posted several photos with Lisa on Instagram. Captioned, we met finally. So glad to see you. I will always support this Thai girl. Lisa's bright smile and glamorous visuals have reassured fans that she is doing well, despite the swirling rumors. Many believe that the rumors have not affected her or the other Blackpink members. A few days ago, a TikToker accused Lisa of being a homewrecker, claiming that an euphoria actor used to date a member of a K-pop girl group, and that this idol had broken three other relationships. The TikToker named Lisa and Dominique Fike as the main characters in her story. Chinese netizens discovered that Dominique Fike wrote a song called Mona Lisa and linked it to Lisa. They also pointed out photos of their supposed couple tattoos. However, fans quickly refuted these claims. Dominique Fike clarified that Mona Lisa was written for a hero movie and has nothing to do with Lisa. Additionally, fans proved that Lisa and Dominique's tattoos are completely different. Moreover, the TikToker who spread these rumors has a history of making false accusations about other artists. Netizens believe she is simply trying to gain attention by dragging Lisa's name into the controversy. It's clear that these rumors lack substantial evidence and are likely fabricated. Lisa's recent appearance and the support from her fans and colleagues demonstrate that she remains strong and unbothered by these baseless accusations. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think these rumors were completely unfounded? Today, we're diving into a deeply emotional topic. Ellie Seraphim's newly released documentary trailer has shocked and worried fans with its raw depiction of the members' struggles. Let's get into the details. On July 28th, Hype Labels released the trailer for Ellie Seraphim's second documentary, Make IT Look Easy. While it begins with positive moments from the group's career, it quickly takes a darker turn. The trailer showcases the members dealing with both mental and physical hardships. In one scene, Chi Win is seen receiving and fought drip, which has left fans deeply concerned. Fans have also noted scenes of exhaustion during their schedules and Yoonjin in tears, expressing how difficult it is to balance happiness and satisfaction. One of the most distressing moments in the trailer features Sakura in a state of extreme distress, with a staff member pleading for the filming to stop. Fans believe this was filmed back in May last year when Sakura was too ill to attend an event for Unforgiven. Seeing these vulnerable moments has sparked an outpouring of concern from Fear Nuts, with many fans expressing heartbreak over the members' struggles. This isn't the first time Ellie Seraphim's health has been a topic of concern. Earlier this year, Shi Yuin's large intake of vitamins and supplements worried fans about her overall well-being. Adding to the emotional weight, the documentary comes after months of backlash against the group. Yuki and Sakura, in particular, 
faced severe criticism following their Coachella performance, which led to disabling their Instagram comments due to the negative response. In the trailer, Yoongi says, To me, the word success feels really far away, while Sakura questions, was an idol really the job that I can do best? These statements highlight the immense pressure and scrutiny they face. Many fans hope this documentary will open hearts and minds, showing the human side of Ellie Seraphim and helping to stop the toxic hate they've received. Ellie Seraphim's previous documentary, The World Is My Oyster, was praised for its honest portrayal of idol life. Make ID Look Easy is set to release on July 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. KST, and fans are bracing themselves for a deeply moving experience. Today, we've got some exciting updates from Corn LA 2024, where BTS's Jungkook made a massive impact despite currently being in the military. Let's dive into the details. The Golden Macni, often dubbed the Idol of Idols, had his presence felt all over Con LA 2024. So many artists chose to cover Jungkook's songs over the first two days of the event, and the crowd couldn't get enough. Most notably, BTS's junior group TWS delivered a stunning performance of Jungkook's chart topper 3D member Shinyu, Do Hoon, and Jihoon gave it their all, and fans in attendance called the performance life changing. It's no secret that TWS are big fans of their son Binim. Kim Min from TWS even revealed that Never Let Go is his favorite song, and shared how thrilled he was to meet Jungkook. This admiration definitely shone through in their performance. But the Jungkook love didn't stop there. Zerubazio members Gunwook and Jiwoon also rocked the stage with their dance covers of Jungkook's tracks. Gunwook showcased his skills with Standing Next to You, while Jiwoon brought the house down with Seven. Gunwook is no stranger to covering Jungkook's songs. He's performed them on multiple occasions, proving just how influential Jungkook is in the K-pop world. And if that wasn't enough, the Japanese boy group INI also joined the Jungkook celebration with their cover of Seven, alongside their performances of Ispa Armageddon and in Hypens Bite Me. The overwhelming presence of Jungkook's music had fans joking that Con LA 2024 turned into an impromptu golden listening party. The crowd loved every moment, proving once again why Jungkook is the idol of idols. Fans are already looking ahead to Jungkook's return from military service in June next year. With so many idols and fans vying for concert tickets, it looks like it's time to start practicing those ticketing skills. What did you think of the Jungkook covers at Con LA 2024? Which performance was your favorite? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz around Hyuna's eye-catching airport outfit that has everyone talking. Let's check it out. Hyuna has always been known for her bold and daring fashion choices, but her recent outfit at the airport has left netizens feeling a bit embarrassed. She was spotted on her way to Japan for the XD World Music Festival, and her unique style definitely stole the spotlight. At first glance, her polka dot hang top and black skirt might seem like a typical daily fashion choice, but look a little closer, and you will see what's causing all the commotion. Yes, that's right. Hyuna decided to accessorize her outfit with a lace thong worn on the outside of her skirt. This bold choice has netizens baffled and stirred quite a bit of discussion online. Comments from netizens ranged from confusion to embarrassment. Many are questioning the fashion statement, with some feeling that it's just too much. One user commented, This fashion is confusing and embarrassing for the onlooker, while another simply said, I don't get it. Hyuna has never shied away from pushing the boundaries with her fashion, and this latest choice is no exception. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny that she knows how to grab attention. So, what do you think of Hyuna's decision to wear underwear as an accessory? Is it a bold fashion statement or a bit too much? We have some thrilling news today that's got the whole fandom buzzing. BTS's Jimin and Jungkook are back with a brand new travel series on Disney Plus called Are You Sure? And trust me, the latest trailer has everyone talking. Set your calendars for August 8th, because that's when Are You Sure? premieres on Disney Plus. The new trailer just dropped, and it's already raising our anticipation through the roof. But there's one particular moment that sent armies into a complete meltdown. Check this out, Jungkook playfully attacks Jimin with a water gun. And what really stunned everyone? Jungkook was shirtless, wearing a swimsuit, showing off his impressive physique and his arm sleeve tattoos in all their glory. It's like an updated version of that iconic scene from BTS in the Soup 2. Armies are loving this throwback vibe and can't wait to see more. So, Army, how excited are you for? Are you sure? 
What are you most looking forward to in this new series? Today, we've got some surprising and disappointing news about an exhibition dedicated to BTS's V held in Los Angeles. Fans were expecting a memorable experience, but instead, they were left feeling let down and even suspecting sabotage by hype. The exhibition, which aimed to celebrate V's incredible talent and charm, attracted numerous fans. However, those who attended have since voiced their dissatisfaction, sharing their negative experiences online. One fan described the event as extremely disappointing, noting several issues. No photos allowed, a very small venue occupying just two walls, late set up by the organizers, and to top it all off, his music wasn't even played. Fans are saying this exhibition was unfair to both T. Hyung and the fans, and many feel that hype has been mishandling his promotion in the US for a while. Some are even alleging that this event was a deliberate attempt to sabotage his influence in the US market. The backlash has been swift and intense, with fans making various posts on social media and tagging Hype's official accounts to voice their frustration. Even large fan bases like these Baidaba in China are speaking up. Ami, what do you think about this situation? Do you believe Hype is mishandling these promotions in the US? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Blackpink's OS. Recently, she was spotted in the US with a man, and it's causing quite a stir. Let's get into the details. According to American entertainment media outlet Backgrid and other foreign sources, Aos was seen filming with a man at Sushi Park in Los Angeles on the 27th of July. The mystery man, none other than Anthony Vaccarello, the creative director of YVE St. Laurent. The reports indicate that the two were filming for YVE St. Laurent, which makes sense given Aos is strong TIs with the brand. She's been a global ambassador for YSL for quite some time now, and their collaborations are always a hit. This sighting comes shortly after Aois renewed her contract with YG Entertainment as a group member last year. Additionally, she recently signed a solo contract with the Black Label, led by producer Teddy, further solidifying her career both as a group member and a solo artist. And that's not all. Aois will be attending the production presentation of Blackpink's 8th anniversary film, Blackpink World were born pink in cinemas, which will be held on the 9th of August at Times Square in Yeongdeongpo, Seoul. It's definitely an exciting time for all Blinks. What do you think about ROSS collaboration with Anthony Vaccarello? Are you excited about her upcoming appearances and projects? Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K-Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K-Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,